This is JAN6418. It has a name that probably sounds more familiar to you, the vacuum tube. Vacuum tube is the heart and the soul of the vacuum tube amplifier. The warmth, the smoothness, all the amazing and enchanting tones are all thanks to these tubes. And the JN6418 is the secret recipe in the flavoring of N3 Ultra, the King's latest portable player that equips with vacuum tubes, even two. However, it doesn't come for free. This is so-called microphonic effects. Such phenomenon is caused by physical conduction. Specifically, some of the components inside the circuit have converted vibration into noises. And this is the secret recipe of the N3 Ultra. In order to solve the microphonic effects, our genius engineer has reached out to this solution to design a shock-absorbing silicon case for the vacuum tube. Kane has a rich experience in utilizing the vacuum tube. Over the past 30 years, since the establishment of the company, we have been producing vacuum tube amplifier, a large number of vacuum tube amplifier that is distinctive. Our research in how to better utilize the vacuum tube has never stopped. And this time, this tiny silicon case is the latest advancement in the better utilization of JAN6418. We fit the JAN6418 in this silicon case and connect it to the main board of N3 Ultra through a flexible PCB, all to minimize the annoying microphonic effects. And now you can ignore those annoying noise caused by vibration. You can walk around or even knock it with no problem. Hello everyone, welcome to Kane's channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new release N3 Ultra. And first of all, let's take a look of what's inside the box. Of the top of the box, you have got the N3 Ultra. And here is the user menu. You have got a warranty card, user menu, as well as a screen protector. And further in, there's a Type-C cable as well as a TPU case as complementary. You may wonder, so the N3 Pro is using the JAN6418 while the N3 Ultra is using exactly the same thing. So what's the difference? Well, the first thing, although both the N3 Pro and the N3 Ultra are using the same JAN6418, the N3 Ultra take a step further by allowing the tube timber to be applied to both 3.5 and 4.4 output. Previously, on the N3 Pro, the tube timber is only applicable on single-ended outputs. And now, no matter you are choosing whether the 4.4 or 3.5, you can choose whatever the timber you like. And we have done a lot of circuit improvement on N3 Ultra. First circuit improvement is that now the output level between the vacuum tube and the solid states is exactly the same. In the past, the vacuum tube only output half of the power compared to solid state mode. But now, yes, you get a tube output as high as solid state. Another improvement is that previously on N3 Pro, the JN6418 served the purpose of buffering only. It didn't involve gain control or amplification. But now on N3 Ultra, it serves the purpose of amplification. Kang's innovation goes beyond simply applying the vacuum tube technology into DAPs. It's about pushing the boundary of the technology through the continuous accumulation and innovation transforming the impossible into reality. And that's the video of the day. Many thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe us and stay tuned. See you next time.